He's gonna open a Billy Joel single today. On vinyl. When I heard that Billy Joel was coming out with his new single, I saw that it was available as a vinyl single. And if you know me, you know that I love those wax format discs. You and me go together like one, two, three. I've been waiting for you because I want you to share in the joy of unboxing this with me. I'm very excited to open it up, look at it, and then play it for you guys. I always get scared when I put the uh, scissors in here. You never know what they're gonna do. Okay, good, there's cardboard on the other side. That's a good sign. Just a second here, I'm gonna cut this other side. Okay. It's always good news when you have the cardboard on both sides of it. This is a professional shipper. Music Today Warehouse. I ordered it right from the Billy Joel website. But yes, when you have a nice thing like that. Ooh, this, is, this looks... This looks amazing. I'm, I, I'm trying to calm myself. Yes, um, when I get something and it's like in a pizza box, I'm like... <sighs> if you don't do this type of method of taping the cardboard on both sides, you can get split seams and nothing is more frustrating than buying a new record, opening it up, and then the, the record slides out because the top or the bottom split. That's not happening. This is a beautiful new single here. Oh man, look how beautiful that is. So obviously that's the Columbia symbol up there. It's almost like yellowy golden type look here. Black, of course, we're turning the lights back on. Thematically, it looks nice. Barcode on the back so you can scan it so that you can upload your little copy to Discogs. This is a blind buy for me. I pre-ordered it. My thought was I was gonna own a piece of history either way. Either it was gonna be so terrible that I'd be like, this is the shining turd in my collection or the shining star. It's right out the top here. I'm gonna take it right out of its... Oh my. Oh my, I did not... Oh, oh, okay, I did... It says on here, did I wait too long to turn the lights back on? But first I thought this was definitely a real ink until I realized it was printed. But for a brief second, you probably saw it on my face. I was like, oh my God, he signed it. He did not sign it. You might not be able to see it on the video here, but it is printed on. And then on the back here, we got all the lyrics. You know, sometimes on a 45, you'll see that. There's that little doodad goodie. But let's take a look at the vinyl. Let's see what it looks like. A lot of these 45s, they'll be different colors, special editions. This is just very classic looking. You don't have to have a little spindle for it. A lot of the old 45s, you have to have this little disc thing you put in the center of it to actually be able to spin it. They punch out this part here, this like center part here, they punch it out. And if you don't have that, you just can't play the 45. I bought a bunch of 45s a while ago at a flea market. And thankfully one of them had that little centerpiece in. If I hadn't had that, I would have been screwed. I always get scared when I put the vinyl back in because I always feel like I'm like this goofball trying to do it. I'm sure someone's watching me like, oh my God, this guy does not know what he's doing. And I do, but like when I get on camera, I, I get a little antsy. I just don't want to look like a fool. And then I end up looking like a fool. <sighs> I probably should have put this in first. You ready to hear this bad boy? I'm ready to hear this bad boy. Boy. I don't know why it's a bad boy. It could be a good boy. Look at that. It's Vinyl Cat. He's always here. When there's vinyl to be played, he is here. I know this is stacked like the scariest thing ever. It hasn't fallen yet. Sometimes it shakes a bit and I get a little scared. I hope we're all ready for the grand unveiling of Billy Joel's single on a 45 here. Both sides say it's turn the lights back on. Sometimes you put a B side of something different or weird or strange. None of that going on here. We're gonna make sure that's true. Get that sweet, sweet needle drop there. Sounds very good. Hey, you wanna dance? I don't think he likes it. Ooh. Ooh, that was a nice little. <sighs> I still don't like the drums. They're a little too fake for me. Strings are okay though. Maybe you won't. There's just nothing that beats that needle going over those grooves, huh? And if you're someone who doesn't collect vinyl and you're not someone who gets much into this, I'm telling you, you're here right now, it does feel different. Now the big question is, is it different on the other side? That's the question I want to ask. It says no, but do we believe that? There's gonna be a secret message on here. He's, at the end of the year, I'm coming out with an LP. I think it's gonna be the same. And then I guess thematically, it kind of makes sense, right? Nothing's different, we've been here before. You flip it over, it's the same song. One thing surprised me when I heard both these sides of it, both of them feature an extended piano intro. The original song is about three minutes long and this is 421, so it is a little longer. You get this more of a grandstand piano entrance. Why don't we back up and hear that again? Mm. It's sad they didn't have this in there. That would've been nice. 
I think it's a little weird. Like, why didn't they put like something else on the on the other side, right? Release an old single, old material. He's got stuff from the 70s and 80s he hasn't even released. Why is that on the other side? It could be. But no, he just got the same song twice. I'm not trying to razz Billy Joel here. I'm just saying he missed an opportunity. Damn, it sounds so good, though. I'll, I'll admit that. You got that going for you, Billy. Final sounds good. Good quality. Top notch. 10 stars. 5 stars. 2 thumbs up. This is my Billy Joel turn the lights back on dance. You gotta do the slow waltz here. It's all with the arm movement. I was trying to do that with Jack, but he wasn't interested. Was it worth buying or not? If you're a Billy Joel fan, yeah. If you want to have his new single because you like it, yeah. I think one of the biggest faults of it is to have the same song on both sides. I think he wasted an opportunity that he could have had doing something a little cooler one way or another. If he could have given a little bit more for the fans that put down the money to get the vinyl, I do think it would have been nice. Part of the fun with 45s is having an A side and a B side. It would have been nice if something weird was on it or something even him talking even him be like yeah like i'm here with my single whatever thing i think there should have been something more for the billy joel fan who purchased this just because it's a physical media thing like you don't have to purchase this at all you could have just streamed it on spotify but overall the sound quality is good it sounds great i really enjoyed listening to it i'm glad i have it if you have any comments or thoughts put them in the comment box below i'd love to hear it from you all i love you so much and i hope that you're not a meanie if you're a meanie i don't want to hear from you as always i'm bill cooper and i love you all